Welcome back to Bass-Cafe.com. Today, we're going to review the Busby Tackle Box System. The Busbys are sitting over here uh, off to the side. You can see the yellow latches with the gray boxes. Uh, pretty nice setup. Uh, I bought the Busby 28 Colony, which is shown here on their website. Colony 28 comes with the six boxes. Uh, I added these little tabs here so I could grab hold the box a little easier. I think those tabs bring me like 10 bucks or something like that, 12, I don't know what it was, uh, but not too bad. But considering the entire package together was uh, almost $300, I think I got it on sale for $280, that's pretty significant. So I've used these for a year, used them all last year, uh, bought them last winter before the season started here in Iowa. And I wanted to kind of go over them and let you know what I thought of them. So maybe it'll help you decide if you're going to get some or not. Uh, before we get started into the details of that, I'd like to let you know that I've used pretty much every tackle system that's out there. I use Cabela's boxes, uh, Bass Pro boxes, uh, plenty of Planos, which I really do like a lot. Uh, I have used the new Plano system, the yellow boxes. I've got some of these over here too, uh, which frankly I don't care for very much. Uh, but I've got lots of them, probably close to 50 or 60 old boxes over here in, in the other room that I just don't want to throw away because I have so much extra tackle. I keep putting my excess in there and uh, I just keep it for a long period of time. So over the course of 30 years, I know what the plastic boxes will do and what they won't do. I know what I like and I don't like about them. And I wanted to give the Busbees a try. The things that were uh, attractive to me were the modular systems inside. So we're going to get some pictures inserted in here, but in general, open these up. What you're going to see is a modular system. You can take all those little boxes out of there and put whatever you want in there, whatever size bait, whatever tackle, whatever hook, or whatever you want to put in there. You can take those in and out uh, pretty freely. Give you an idea what they look like right here. Okay, right here, right in here, I've got different three uh, flipping hooks or extra wide grab hooks and they pop right into the box. I used to carry my hooks and uh, a specific Plano and it worked pretty well but those Planos last for about two three years and then the latches start wearing out, the plastic starts fading, it's hard to see through them, those type of things so I always seem to be cycling them through. So if you consider these are $280 for the six of them, you can do the math on that, pretty pricey. But are they worth it? Are they going to last a long time? Uh, let's let's get into some of the features that are really attractive, at least to me. And obviously, you'll be able to see them on the website. Uh, the first thing I like is that it's uh, the plastic in it is uh, rust uh, resistant. Not, it doesn't completely keep it out, but it's resistant. Uh, it's a really hard plastic, guys. It doesn't bend and flex like a lot of the cheap stuff you see. Um, a lot of the Walmart stuff you see out there. There's some other stuff out there. It's pretty thin. Uh, I've got some sitting around here somewhere we could show you. Uh, but they're definitely not thin. They're they're a thicker plastic. Uh, they, they don't bend like the other stuff. Uh, it, it's pretty nice. Uh, you can see that it's a very clear plastic and, and thick as well. Um, when you pull it in and out of your uh, rod lockers or your tackle areas, you'll notice that these things don't flex. Uh, another thing that you'll notice about them is they're heavy. They're, they're heavier than your standard Plano for sure. The thicker pl plastic is, is definitely uh, noticeable when you go to pick them up. Um, uh, the big thing that's pointing out here on the top plastic piece is you'll see this yellow uh, seal that goes around it. Uh, that absolutely works fantastic. You'll notice that the seal only goes around the outside, okay? That keeps the water and the moisture and stuff from getting inside the box, which is really, really good. Um, what you might not notice just off a of first glance is there's also some plastic that comes down here into each one of your modules. So see that it's split up into four modules? There's each one of the modules that goes in. These little two can fit into a single or a double or a triple or even a really long or wide uh, modular setup here. So no matter what you have in there, they'll fall down right on top of them and seal those up. So you kind of get a double seal of these and then the outer rim there. I like that a lot. That's one of the things that I, I wanted to try these out for just to see if I could keep my stuff uh, from getting rust in them because we fish uh, a lot of times, you know, early in the morning when there's a lot of dew in the air and uh, I get, you know, your rusty hooks, those type of things. Tackle costs too much and I wanted to go in there constantly cleaning and sharpening all the time if I can help it. So I really wanted to try it for that. And guys, it works fantastic for that. 
But there is a disadvantage that, I, that I've learned with this. It's something that you know about before you go invest in a lot of money in these. These little seals here, these little, not really seal, but it's, it does create somewhat of a seal onto the unit. If you have a hook, this is a spinnerbait trailer hook, that's kind of sticking out over the edge, like right there, I'll leave it over the edge. When you go to close that, it doesn't want to close, okay? Now you might say, that's not a big deal, just move the hook over, right? Well, that's pretty much how it works. But when you're in the middle of the day and you got a box full of hooks like, like I do here and a, and a ton of uh, weights and so forth, it's not always easy to see that really quickly. So you got to be a little bit careful when you're putting stuff away. You don't let it kind of sit over the side and, and those type of things. It, with a Plano, you can get away with that. You know, you just kind of slam the lid and do the latch and, and away you go. Uh, and it's not a big deal. But with these, if you want to keep that seal in there, it's actually a double seal. You really got to make sure that those things uh, are in the right compartment and not bleeding over into another one. You can also, if you want to, you can leave an area out. I haven't done that, but I am going to try one this year. You can leave areas of your hooks out so that it's just the box itself. And you can just put a lot of things there, bags of plastics, whatever you want to do. I'm actually going to try that uh, on one of my units this year with my Senkos. So uh, that's kind of a neat little feature too. They don't really advertise, but uh, it kind of dawned on me at the end of the last season that that would be a good feature to have. So the plastic on my top, really clear, super thick. Uh, it's supposed to be sun resistant, so it shouldn't fade over time, which is great because we all know our planos and stuff do that. They become cloudy and hard to see through, which isn't a big deal if you label your stuff, but it is a good indicator that they're getting old. So really like the plastic on top. Obviously it has our logo and stuff sitting on here. It also has um, a form to it on the top so that when they sit on top of each other, in this case, you can see here, I'll wiggle them all here, they latch together. There, there's actually a groove in there where they actually groove in together and they stay pretty tight. Um, you think at first that's not that big of a deal, but honestly, when you get it in your boat, it really is a nice deal. If they're squished in the kind of together, uh, as long as they're somewhat close, they're all going to move as one. So you'll have less sloshing around the boxes all over the place. And that kind of creates less rattles in the boat. Um, not that you can hear a rattle at seven miles an hour, but uh, it does it does help keep things in place. And the less things are moving around rattling, uh, the less things are going to break and crack. That's, that's my opinion anyway. So. Back to the top, really like that a lot. You'll notice here there's a little hole. If you want to use a lock for your tackle boxes, you can do that. I personally don't lock my stuff, but uh, I don't need to, it's in my boat, but I can see maybe a kayaker or somebody overnight might want to do that. So you'll notice when I go to close it, it doesn't want to just sit and fall. That's because that's got a really nice thick seal on it. You just push it down like so, and you pull this latch up, and latch it down, okay? Uh, this hardware here is stainless steel, and the, these plastic latches are thick plastic. This is not cheap plastic. This is not something you're going to have to go back and buy at Walmart every two or three days or, or whatever retailer you go to. This stuff is going to last a long time. I really like, like the attention to detail of that, but that's not going to rust. I don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and open that back up and look at the gray, the gray piece on the bottom. And again, we'll put some pictures in the video so you can see those but, uh, up close. Uh, the gray piece on the bottom is a very thick, gray, uh, rigid plastic. It's not something that you're going to be able to bend and uh, move all over the place. It's, it's set so that those things stay inside of it and that the modules won't pop out. Um, that doesn't mean that the modules don't ever pop out. They will eventually, depending on you know temperature and those type of things. But for the most part, the modules do stay down. They stay locked into the bottom uh, because again, these, these little plastic pieces on the bottom of them, as you can see, they look like Legos, basically. They pop down into those little circles right there i just set it in it's kind of there give it a little press boom it stays down so this has the little knobs that come up or the nubs that come up and it connects that as well again very sturdy uh not gonna wear out I'm not gonna have to buy these anytime soon i'm guessing these are probably gonna last me close to 10 years maybe 15 years uh, i use i go through a lot of tackles so uh, they're gonna see their wear and tear for sure but really solid very high quality plastic here um, before we move into the other parts, uh, the very back part, the, the pin that goes through all the way to the back, the hinge pin, that's all stainless steel as well. And it's set in place where it's not going to move around. Uh, I've had some other tackle boxes before where it's all great materials, but then the pin starts sliding in and out. You're always fiddling around with that or putting silicone on and stuff like that. Uh, so far through a whole year, they haven't moved at all. They've been fantastic. So a uh, really great system so far. So let's, let's keep going and talk about... Some things I don't like, okay? Something I don't like is there's no real handle for this, okay? 
you can see here, this, this piece is here and really they're all smashed together down in your box. It's hard to get your hand around that. So what they do in this little circle here, okay, where you can put that lock before, but I don't lock mine. Going back down here, you'll see they have that same little groove right here with built up plastic and there's a groove there. Well, instead of having a good handle to grab a hold of like a Plano, you have to buy these little tabs. And these tabs are pretty tough for sure. There's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of tungsten in there right now, so that's pretty heavy. And you can pull them in and out like this. But honestly, that's kind of a pain. I, I don't like that very much. Um, I'd rather have something to grab a hold of, a little bigger piece of plastic. But my guess is the next series of these will come out, they'll have a better handle up front. So in the meantime, if you want to get them in and out of a tight space, okay, to really grab a hold of them, especially the heavier ones, you'll have to grab it like that. Probably not so hard with the crankbait box. Those are pretty, pretty light. But if you want to get that out of the tab, you got to buy these little tabs. Okay. Uh, the tabs come in multicolors. I don't, I don't remember seeing all black or all yellow or all red. Uh, so they're all different multicolors. I'm sure they probably do sell them. They're pretty inexpensive. But again, at 280 bucks a pop for the six boxes, it was really should have came with it. I think that's kind of cheesy that they make you add that on considering there's no real handle right there. Um, other other things I don't care for so much about, but I got around it as you can see, guys. These uh, are all my labels. I label myself. Uh, these areas to put a label on are not very big. This we'll bring the jig box out here. This jig box here, as you can see from this little handle holder, there's two pieces of plastic that come down. I created the label and then cut it out with some scissors so they could lay down there and I could see that a little bit better. And I label through here too. So I put my major label here. This is jigs. And it's got football jigs, arky heads, uh, and then have them labeled out here as well. It's not a whole lot of area out here for labeling. And that's a little disappointing because I like to stay organized and kind of, uh, it works, but it's tough. So as you can see on the bottom, here's the Busby bottom, the really hard plastic, good stuff. It's got uh, the little edges right here on the corners that helps them stay in place and lock together so they don't slide around as does that raised plastic that sits right here, which is really nice. Uh, you can see strength that's built into these with this extra plastic here, 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 and here. And again, that's not just cosmetic or anything. That really adds strength to the box. Uh, pretty pretty solid system for sure. Um, I'll be honest, when I first started using them, didn't care for them too much because the handle was a pain. Uh, but the longer I used them, the more I liked them. And after one year of looking at them, uh, as many times as they've been up and down the river and the lakes, um, there's not a, lot, a whole lot of wear and tear on those. So. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good stuff, pretty solid. As I look in here, uh, just coincidentally, you can see that one of my rattles from my jigs is laying across the, the two uh, modular inserts here. And the outside seal is on and it's there, but the inside seal for these two is not there because that little rattle. So let's just go in real quick, show you what that is. See how it popped up really, kind of has some pressure on it. That pressure is from that rattle being in the way. Okay, so you can kind of smush that down there, close that down, and make sure nothing else, make sure nothing else is in the way. Okay, close it up. And now it has a little better seal. Again, a little bit annoying. You don't really want to stop every time, make sure your rattle or your hook or your Carolina rig or whatever you might be doing is laying across one of those. It's kind of a pain, but again, if you want a good seal and no rust, it's uh, part of the gig, right? You got to make sure the stuff is in there where it's supposed to be. So that kind of gives you a look of what uh, jigs will look like inside the box. And again, we'll do some more pictures for you. A basic hook setup, again, is like so. Um, I feel very comfortable with the, with the latches. I just flip, flip this upside down, it's not going anywhere. I mean, this thing is pretty sturdy as far as putting, putting things back together. Kind of give you another example here of what it looks like for some general plastic stuff. Uh, these are basically some uh, beavers and some flipping baits and some chigger craws are in there. Uh, give you some idea of the different sizes of the boxes and we'll go over those too and uh, add some pictures as well. So. As I open that, I could definitely feel the seal uh, was there. Uh, here's, here's a big square. I think these are, I don't know, four by fours. And I got some beavers in there. If I'm not mistaken, I think those are some hot rods. So pretty slick. Um, 
It's very customizable. That, that's a, a big advantage of this. And another reason I bought it is I wanted to be able to put my baits in where I wanted them and not uh, shoved into places they didn't belong. So as you can see, I use a lot of certain greens in here. So I put the bigger compartments in for that. And then in some of the other uh, compartments, you'll see that they're smaller. I don't use those very often. So I use a smaller mod module for that. Uh, here's a great example of this chigger craw. It was sitting in here like so. And as it was laid across, it was uh, sitting across the channel here the, between the modules and it got smashed in there and then it came up. So then you got to just kind of put them back in there. It gets a little annoying, but it's something you learn to live with. And if you're not too picky, just close it and it, it'll close pretty easy. If not, you know, you got something laying across there. Um, moving on a little bit so you can see a little longer insert for your worms. This is uh, my worm and shaky hit box or basically my shaky hit box. So you can see there's a really long module for that. This one wasn't snapped in. I wasn't in there yesterday doing some stuff, but big long box. I think that's a seven or eight inch one there. And just goes in, pops in like so, pushes it down and pops right in there. Okay. Okay, that closes up. All the shaky heads are in the right places and the right bend, so nothing's crossed over. So you can see when you close it, that's a really nice thick seal. I can't stress that enough. If you really want to keep your stuff rust free, that's the way it goes. And you just kind of push down like that. Put those in, away you go. And again, here's your little uh, carrier. If you're wondering how sturdy that is, so far, remember these are only a year old, but they are a year, they have been out there for a year. And, okay, so everything stays put. Nothing's moving here and there. Now, I've seen in the commercials that uh, people will say these float, they throw them in the water and they float because it's got a nice seal. I suppose that's true. Uh, I haven't tried that, nor will I. Hopefully I never have to worry about that, but that'd be an advantage if you're a kayaker or something like that, if those tackle boxes are kind of laying out a little bit. Uh, so another advantage of them. So overall, it's the Busby system. Uh, I, I got the Colony 28 modular tackle. I paid just a little bit under $300, I think, by the time I had the latches and a little bit of tax, I think it was over 300 bucks. Um, I still really, really like my certain planos that I'll use, and I'll go into those in another video. But overall for the system, um, for a grade, Price-wise, they're definitely high-priced. Um, do I think it was worth $300? No. Do I think it was worth $200? Probably. Um, but that, that's just the way it is, right? New product, they get premium for them when they come out, so that's the way it is. Uh, Longevity-wise, after the first year, A+. Uh, usability and customizability, A+. Fantastic. Um, overall use in the boat, I'm going to give it about a C+. C plus, I really, again, don't care for this, this little latch here too much. It's, it's not a big deal when there's little like crankbaits and stuff in there, but when you get some heavy baits in there, you really gotta have that latch. And you're pulling that up with one hand rather than, uh, it's just kind of clunky. I think they can redo that, so I'm, I'm sure they will. But, so that part, not so much. Overall, guys, I think the value is pretty good. Uh, cost is pretty high. I'm gonna give it a, probably a B minus overall just because the cost is so high i do like uh again the customizability and when you get the modular kit you get some extra modules so that if you want to customize this that and the other you can uh, i'll bring a couple of those out real quick so you can see them and what they look like so here's some one by threes so say you're uh, really into fishing a specific bay the specific size whatever reason or maybe your, your river fishing is a little different and your lake fishing that type of thing you can easily go in and grab these uh, extra ones that come with the colony kit or you can buy extras on your own i'm probably going to buy some bigger long ones for some bigger worms uh, you can get these and pop them in and out really quickly and the ones that you're not using just put off to the side um, i'm probably going to buy another single box without any inserts if they sell them that way and then just use my extra inserts for that and, and go that route um, but Again, pretty good, pretty good plastic. There's the one by threes. Uh, here's the one by ones. At first, I didn't think I'd use these very much, but the one by ones are really, really handy for all of your weights. You know, when you've got a quarter ounce tungsten, three eighths ounce tungsten, a half ounce, a five eighths, whatever. I don't want to carry 85 of each one. I don't want to bleed them together like they do in planos because you got the dividers. This is a really small area and really, unless you're going on a super long trip, this is great to put in, you know, easily six or eight months worth of weights and you don't have to restock those. So I actually use the one modular ones quite a bit in my hooks and weights. 
Uh, I like that quite a bit. I was thinking a little bit over this winter about switching back to a plano for my hooks, but I'm not going to just for this reason, because I really like that and the seal is just fantastic. So, you know, when I'm paying $8 a small bag for hooks, if I'm buying a small quantity anyway, uh, I want them to last. So I'm going to keep them right here in, in uh, the modular system. Well, I got one more quick one to show you. Okay. Here's a big one. Here's the two by twos. I think you saw that in this last one I showed you. Uh, these are for, I use them for uh, sweet beavers and things like that. Flipping baits. They're pretty nice for that. They're a good sized bait can lay in there. You can get quite a few. You can get quite a few laid in a specific way. Uh, I always like to lay mine this way so when I lay in the boat like this, they're not the tails aren't falling over. So nice little bait. Good for a lot of hooks if you use a certain style hook too. So anyway, that's kind of the system. All right, guys. So I know you've all seen all the ads all over Facebook and everything for these systems, but I want to do a quick review for you and let you know. I think overall I give it a B, B minus, that type of thing. For functionality and usability, uh, high grades, uh, cost, and some of the clunkiness with the, the handles, nah, not so great. Uh, is it worth more than the Planos? That'll really, that'll really be up to you. Uh, I'm still going to use several of my Planos that uh, are specific to the needs I like, um, but in the combination, I think it really works out well for me. So, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the review. I hope it helped you decide whether you're going to go this route or not go that route. Uh, maybe the recommendation would be to buy one or two instead of the whole colony. Then, then you can, if you don't like it, you can get out of it for less than probably 50 or 60 bucks, whatever it is. Uh, and you could be good to go. Uh, recently, they've added some plastic bags that you can see out there. So you can put your plastics in. It's kind of a really thick bag that's got some type of seal zipper on it. Uh, I looked at buying some of those, but the price for the bag, just the bag itself, is like 40 bucks. I think that's ridiculous. And uh, that's not going to happen for me. So. Uh, if you guys get them and you try them and you like them, let me know. Uh, you can email me at mrlunkerdunker at gmail.com. And uh, we can talk about it in another episode in the video. So, again, thank you for coming to uh, fast-cafe.com. Make sure you come out and check us out. Uh, we've got all sorts of content on here, videos, tournament schedules, all sorts of different things. Uh, and we really appreciate you coming. So, thanks a lot. Tight lines, everybody.